Hey plant pals, I'm Kate at California Carnivores and today's plant of the day is not a carnivorous plant. So today I want to talk to you about begonias, uh, specifically the Rex begonia. So do be careful because these are listed as toxic to pets, so keep them away from your furry friends. There are tons of species of begonias, but the begonia I want to talk about is begonia rex, also called a rex begonia or a king begonia. Now, the rex begonia is a species that occurs um, in parts of India and all the way to eastern China. And the really special thing about it is that this one species has created over 500 cultivars or um, been part of a parent in like a hybrid situation. And within this one species, there's so much variation. So it's one of those cool plants that can just create so much. Um, another great example of that is the species that created broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, kohlrabi, that's all one species. And then within the carnivorous plant world, of course, the Diana mucipula or the Venus flytrap, um, that is one species that's created a ton of really cool cultivars where we have red variations, weird melted mutated traps. Um, so this can happen a lot. I mean, not just with plants, but in animals too. I mean, look at dogs. So, um, but this begonia, I really love this Rex begonia because, um, man, it, we have two really um, divergent examples here. So this is um, a cultivar called Fire Woman. And it, it almost looks painted, right? It's got this like silvery metallic green and it goes to pink. Um, and mine at home, um, the leaves are huge. They're like, you know, it, like si six inches wide at least. And then another one that we're really obsessed with is this one called Escargo. And you can see it makes this amazing little snail spiral here with this beautiful like silvery metallic sea green that I just love so much. And these guys are awesome because they're easy to grow. They make really good house plants. So kind of similar to our Nepenthes where, um, you know, they can grow indoors on a, on a near a sunny windowsill. So not quite as much light as a Nepenthes. So I would say give them really good, bright, indirect light. So don't put them in a bright window. You don't want to cook them. And then um, they can grow in regular potting soil. So just give them a good aerated mix. We mix our potting soil with a little bit of extra orchid bark, or you can add a little bit of perlite. Um, you know, honestly, they'd probably be fine with just plain old potting soil too. Um, fertilize them every couple of months. And then with the watering, you can use regular tap water. They're not sensitive to the minerals and keep them moist, but not soggy. And then temperature wise, you know, your typical indoor temperature is great. 70 degrees to 60 degrees is what they like. Don't let them get any colder than that. Um, they, you know, if you live somewhere super tropical, like zone 10 or above, you can grow them outside. But other than that, they're just a house plant. So that's my little obsession today are these Rex begonias. I hope you enjoy them. And uh, if you like our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. We'd love to hear from you. Anyways, thank you so much.